Hey guys, my name is Jason Carr and you're watching Old Car Auto Guy and today is Reviews Day. So today's review is going to be a little bit different. Why is it going to be a little bit different? Because we're going to start with the test drive first and then we'll take a look at the vehicle on the outside and we will detail the inside features. So as we sit here getting ready to go, I'm sure that you can tell simply by the interior that I am in the world's number one selling minivan of all time. That's right. We're sitting inside a 2012 Dodge Grand Caravan and this particular model, I used the word particular again, didn't I? I'm going to try not to do that this time. This model features the SXT package, which gives you aluminum wheels, full stow and go, and a couple of little extras. But we'll go over that when we detail the interior of the vehicle for now. We're gonna go for a little drive. I'm heading to the bank anyways, so what better way to review this vehicle? Gotta love those new Dodge Rams. So I am hoping to do a fifth gen Dodge Ram review in the very near future, so stay tuned for that. So one thing I will have to say about these Dodge Grand Caravans, much like anything in the Dodge Chrysler lineup that offers a V6, this particular, I almost did it again. This van offers the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6. Now, in most applications, this V6 boasts about 285 horsepower. Now, that seems like an awful lot. Back in 1979, my Chrysler Cordoba with its big beefy V8 had 185. So that just goes to show how far technology has come over the last almost 40 years. Because the Dodge Grand Caravan kind of set the baseline for minivans over the course of the last 40 years, they seem to be what everybody else is trying to copy. Now, most of you know that I am a Dodge man. Uh, and deep down I have Chevy roots in the trucks, but uh, we've owned a couple of these vans, not this particular body style, but uh, we did find that the Dodge vans tended to be quite comfortable and not necessarily lacking in the storage department. My wife, as you know, has done a courier run uh, for the last 14 years up until recently and we've done it in nothing but minivans. Minivans seem to be best suited for that and like I said the Dodge Grand Caravan was tough to beat. With its 285 horsepower this van is no slouch. However you can tell you're driving something with a little bit of weight like this van versus something say like the Chrysler 200 with the same V6 that when you give her the beans she feels like you're in a rocket. If I had to list at least one downfall of these Dodge Grand Caravans, and not just the Dodge Grand Caravans, but most minivans, is unlike a vehicle such as the Fiat 500L that I reviewed a while back, the visibility is surprisingly not as good in this vehicle as it should be. If I hold the camera like this, when I look in my rear view mirror, what you see, or what I see, simply is a bunch of headrests. With the windows in this van as big as they are, that you should not have a visibility problem. Looking forward, you're good. Uh, but when you're backing up or trying to look behind you, uh, that is where a backup camera definitely comes into play, which this model has. Now, I don't think there's a manufacturer out there who has built a minivan that handles like a sports car. Probably but the closest thing that I can recall is the Honda Odyssey and one of the differences in the Honda Odysseys versus these vans were the fact that they used low profile tires made it seemingly a little bit better in the tight corners. But nevertheless this is still a minivan, it is still top heavy and it still drives like a minivan. Although this 2012 Dodge Grand Caravan has 170,000 kilometers on it which is about hundred and two or three thousand miles it still drives like it did the day they were new there are no squeaks no rattles and every feature on this vehicle still works the same as it did when it was new so now that we've kind of done a little bit of a test drive and we've talked a little bit about the vehicle in general 
we are going to park this in the field and give you an in-depth look at the exterior and the interior of this van. So we all know this van needs no introduction, but here it is anyway. This is our 2012 Dodge Grand Caravan. And there we have the exterior of this 2012 Dodge Grand Caravan. So like I pointed out earlier, a couple of things that I wanted to show you on this with the SXT package is the aluminum wheels, the deep tinted windows, backup camera, power rear vent windows, power seat, as well as front and rear dual AC. And yes, once again, it is hot and buggy out here in this grass. Yes, I know, I do it to myself every time. So as I said earlier, this vehicle, this van, only got better over the years as far as I'm concerned. Some will argue that when they come out with this new Pentastar V6 that it was the worst thing they ever could have done because the old 3.3 was virtually bulletproof. And to some point, I would agree, they were great engines. But this new engine has a lot more power and it definitely it's better fuel economy. So now we will go over some of the options that this van that we have has uh, that some of the other vans don't. So for instance, it does have satellite radio and yes, it is tuned to prime country. It also has all your radio controls on the steering wheel as well as a couple of neat features such as distance to empty. It will give you your speed digitally as well as instant fuel economy and your temperature. Now the previous owner of this van was quite particular on what they wanted when they bought it from me initially. So every seat comes equipped with WeatherTac floor mats. So there is a total of three floor mats in this vehicle, which total somewhere in the vicinity of a couple hundred bucks in options. So the carpets underneath are still just like brand new regardless of what this vehicle has on it for mileage. Now we do have a ton of storage in these things, so there is absolutely no shortage of storage. So let's count. Them. We have one glove box up here. We've got another one down here. We've got a little package tray here, cup holders here. We've got a compartment down there. We've got a little bin here with removable cup holders. Up here, and we've got your sunglasses tray as well as a nice looking kiddo mirror. How you doing? Keep an eye on the kids. Hey, quiet down back there. Don't make me come back there. Don't make me pull this van over. Both driver and passenger doors have cup holders and storage there as well as a small pocket here. There's also little nets for storage in the back of the seat. So underneath the WeatherTech floor mats, and if you remove the factory floor mat, you get your storage compartment under here where the seat stores. Now, just because everything is ready to sell in this van, with the WeatherTech floor mats and all that good stuff, it's quite difficult to access one-handed holding a camera. But trust me, it's all good. This middle WeatherTech floor mat goes all the way around to both sides, up through the middle, and gives you full coverage for the back seats as well. So while we're sitting in the back seat, there's plenty of leg room back here. You all know I'm a six foot two, and there's plenty of room for at least four grown adults in this van. 
and I'm sure a couple more could fit back there with no problem. In the back we have our very own AC controls with vents all throughout the ceiling. And once again, for the family, we have a DVD player with remote. Granted, not everybody uses DVD players these days because everyone has their own device, even the kids. So in my humble opinion, when it comes to minivans, hands down, Dodge has done what nobody else has done. They started from scratch back in the 1980s, created a new segment called the minivan and everybody else followed. It's one of the reasons why Chrysler is still around today. If you follow history, back in the late 70s, early 80s, Chrysler was on the verge of bankruptcy. Granted, it happened again in the late 2000s, but they're still here today and they're still producing some of the world's top vehicles, such as the Ram 1500 and the Jeep JK. At $8,800 Canadian, I don't think you can go too far wrong with this van. Financing options are available, and as always, we stand behind it with a 90-day warranty. Guys, this has been your Reviews Day Tuesday on the 2012 Dodge Grand Caravan. You know how to get a hold of me by the description box below. As well, if you follow me on Instagram, you can DM me on this vehicle. As always, thanks for tuning in, and thank you so much for helping us reach 300 subscribers. I couldn't have done it without you. If you haven't done it yet, please, Go down right now and hit that subscribe button and bell notification so that you'll get notified automatically. And remember, always be focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. God bless. We love you guys. We'll see you in the next upload.